Hey there, Treasure Hunt fan. Joe Pat Big D back here again with another new trial for me. This one is a movie review. And the movie review I'm going to be doing is for a movie called Hotel Artemis. So what I'm going to do is I kind of do like what I did with my video about a week ago where I did the reaction to the trailer for Halloween. What I'm going to do right now is go ahead and um, show you the trailer to the movie. And then I'm going to, just, I'm going to talk about what my thoughts were because I did see the movie last week. Talk about what my thoughts are on the movie and if I recommend it or not. So let's go to the movies. Three minutes. Open the vault now! Oh, that's real nice. You don't want it? No, I really do. Uh, hit the ground now! I need to make a call. Hello. How can I help? Easy, fellas. Everybody's gonna get fixed up. Now verify your memberships, and we're off to the races. The Artemis is a secret hospital for criminals. I thought you were done with all this. I got out, but you know how it goes. You're never out. Not up here. I thought this place was a myth. We've been here for 22 years. This hospital was built on two things. Trust and rules. You see that badge? That means I'm a healthcare professional. You're an arms dealer, right? Don't push my buttons. Don't you do that. I'm a professional, but this woman, she's a business. If you knew what she could do to you with just that cup of coffee. You're lucky this place has rules. The Artemis isn't safe for us, because it is. It's a portable vault. Worth about 18 million. Wolf King's probably gonna want those back. Okay, this is a real problem. It's here. Open the gate. That's against the rules. The rules? Is that the rule breakers? Honey, where would you be? You got like a plan. You're my brother. I love you. 3D printing complete. I got the next best thing. I got a gun. I guess my ballroom days are over, baby. Showtime. There's a war zone up here. Am I gonna make it out of here? We can do it together. This is what I do. Visiting hours are never. Busy night at the Artemis. You know, you might want to buy some scented candles or something, because it smells like somebody died in here. They did. And we're back. So, Hotel Artemis was a really, really good movie. And let me tell you, I didn't know anything about it at all. To be honest with you, I didn't even heard of the movie. I just so happened to stumble upon it. I was on Blu-ray.com, and they have this listing of movies that were coming out uh, over the weekend, and that was one of my clicked on it. And I just saw the cast. I mean, the cast is amazing for this movie. I mean, you have Jodie Foster, Dave Bautista, who was obviously in all the um, uh, Avengers, well, Guardians of the Galaxy movie, was in the last Avengers movie, will be in the next Avengers movie. Um, Sophia, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to butcher this last name, Butella, I believe is how you say it. She was in The Mummy. She was also in the first Kingsman movie. She is an awesome actress. I really like her a lot. I think she's got a lot of potential to do a lot more, and she's very exotic looking, so I think that... I kind of wish she was a cast as the Cheetah for the new Wonder Woman movie coming out instead of Kristen Wiig. Kristen Wiig, she's a funny actress, but I just think that Sophia would... would she can fight, man. She can kick major butt. So I think she would have been a really good cast. Uh, to be cast in that movie would do a really good job as well. You've also got um, Sterling K. Brown, um, Jeff Goldblum, which was he's really good in the movie, and then uh, Jenny Slate, um, who some of you may know from uh, Parks and Rec. She played... Um, Oh my gosh, uh, the one crazy guy's sister, and I always forget, uh, John Raffio's sister. So, um, I'm, 
this was a really good movie. And the whole plot of the movie, and I'm not going to ruin it for you because I really want people to go out and see it. But the whole plot of the movie is the movie takes place like in 2028. And at this point, there's a water shortage and, and the government's taking over all the control of water in the state of California, which sounds kind of familiar because I know that California just passed some new law that in 2020, was it 2022 or something like that? Us California residents could be down to 50 gallons of water a day. Um, and so this is kind of the same thing. They were water rationing. The government had to over control of the water. So a lot of crime erupted. And this whole movie takes place in Los Angeles. Crimes erupted. A lot of things are going on. And so these, there's these hotels that are located throughout, um, throughout the city. And these hotels cater to the criminal. Criminal gets shot. Can't go to the, can't go to the local ER because they're going to report to police. These hotels were created they're a hotel in name only they're basically just a hospital and, and criminals can go to these places excuse me and be fixed up and it's a membership they have to join they got to pay dues stuff like that but the whole movie takes place in this in this hotel and sterling k brown and his brother are are his brother's injured really bad so they go to the hotel and then other people like charlie day are at the hotel and sophia's at the hotel and Jeff Goldblum, who's this big crime lord, ends up at the hotel, and it's just all these antics that happen. And Jodie Foster plays the uh, the um, he, she plays the nurse, and that's what Dave Bautista calls her. Dave Bautista is actually the nurse; she's actually the doctor, but he's always going, "Yes, nurse, I'm on it, nurse. I'll take care of a nurse." Just a great movie, really well done, really well written. I the acting was spot on. It was just a really fun, good movie. It's been a long time since I've been able to see a movie like this. I had nothing; I didn't know anything about it. Other than what I had briefly read on Blu-ray.com, so I had no idea going into it. Usually when I go in to see a movie, I've already got some preconceptions about this or that or the other thing. Especially if it's a sequel to the movie I've seen. I had no, I just walked into this movie blindly. Um, we decided, my wife and I decided to see this movie then instead, instead of Ocean's 8. And I think it was a good movie. I hear Ocean's 8's really good, but this movie was a home run. I guarantee you, check it out. I know it's in the theaters right now. I don't think it's done very well because the advertising for the movie was terrible. They didn't. The studio who put this movie out did not do a good job advertising this movie because I think they they really put some money behind it for the advertising. This movie would have done a lot better. It is that good. It's just a really good story with a few twists and turns throughout it. Um, actually, Zachary Quinn. I forgot to tell you, Zachary Quinn was in it. Mr. Spock is even in the movie. Um, he plays Jeff Goldblum's son. So, which, uh, yeah, it works. It definitely works. It's just. This is a movie you can sit down and watch. It's got a good story to it. It's 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 going to keep you entertained. It's going to keep you going to the very end. I highly recommend it. You should definitely check it out. I'm not sure how much longer it's going to last in theaters, but I'm sure it'll be out on DVD soon, and I will definitely let you know in one of my announcement videos when they do announce the movie because I'm sure I'll be pretty excited because I'm definitely going to be buying it when it comes out. But if you get a chance, and it's one of your local theaters, especially when it starts going down to those theaters like 5 bucks. check it out. Just try it. I guarantee you will like it. Um, that is it. That's the end of my review. Hopefully you do enjoy this. I'm going to try doing a few more of these. I like adding the, I hope you guys like me adding the trailer in there. So it gives you a little bit of a, uh, I don't know, a little bit of a kind of framework to understand what I'm talking about when I talk about the review. Um, otherwise, you guys rock. Thank you all for watching this video. Please click the like button down below. Leave me some comments. Have you seen this movie? If so, let me know if you like it or not. Or does it look interesting? Let me know. Um, please click this. You know, sometimes this right here goes a lot faster than this right here, or vice versa. Um, please click the subscribe button if you want to see more reviews by Big D. Thank you all again for watching this video. Remember to always keep hunting, take care, and live long and prosper.